and welcome back to No Blame Makeup, where we do makeup and body paint tutorials, usually with a cosplay twist. And today I'm showing you how to do a rainbow eyeliner, which should have been exceedingly obvious from the title. I swear I know what's going on today. <laughs> but yeah, this is actually kind of easy to do, a little time consuming, but not too bad. So the first thing I did was just lay down a little bit of eyeshadow. Um, this is mostly so that I had something going on on my eyelid. You really don't have to do that. Or if you do want to do a different eyelid and just have your eyeliner be rainbow, you can do that as well. But yeah. So to start off, you're going to need a bunch of different eyeshadow or eyeliner colors. Um, I didn't have most of these, like red, I didn't have. Um, at least not one that wasn't dried out. So what I wound up doing was taking some eyeshadows in the various colors that I needed and using a little bit of Inkblot Duraline to make my own eyeliner. If you're ever in a bind or you know that a specific eyeliner color is not something you're using every day, you don't want to waste your money, you can always do something like that. Just get a mixing medium, a little bit of eyeshadow or um, pigments, um, anything that's eye safe, just keep that in mind and you can actually make your own eyeliner that way. So what I did to kind of blend the colors into each other is while they were still wet, I made sure to go back in with a little bit of the color and kind of like blend it together a little bit. And just kind of like mess it up a little bit. <laughs> and also keep in mind that you are gonna have to fit seven, seven? Yeah, seven different colors on your eye so you want to make sure to give yourself a bit of space to work with, especially if you have smaller eyes like I do. Um, for people with big eyes, I... <laughs> and I mean that in the nicest way possible. I always wanted to have big eyes because I would just like more eyelid space. <sighs> I also wanted straight hair and because I got made fun of a lot as a kid and look at everybody now who wants curly hair. Oh, how the tides change. I think it is true, the grass is greener on the other side. Anywho, um, but yeah, just make sure that you blend all the colors in, and if you have to, if like, you blend in the colors and they're starting to dry out a little bit too much, you can always take a little bit more of the original color that you were blending in to the thing, and just kind of reactivate the um, color. A little bit more by getting it wet with like whatever mixing medium that you use um, yeah. and also remember for your eyeliner you want the wing to go upwards so it gives you a little more of a lifted look you look a little bit more awake and those rude people in the real world don't ask me if you are sick or sad that's happened to me a couple times if though you happen to draw the wing on the outside a little bit thicker than the rest of it, you can always go back in and thicken up the rest of that eyeliner. Now to finish off this look, I just applied some lashes. You don't really have to do that. That's up to you. I also did some mascara. And um, for the face, I just applied a little bit of lip gloss because I was like, you know what? I have all the color right here. <laughs> I don't want to like scare people. <laughs> but that's it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely had fun doing it. And if you want a full video on how to do regular winged eyeliner, I'll have that in the cards somewhere. I don't know where. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!